Next up, we've got Tina Peters. She's a former county clerk of Mesa County in Colorado, and uh, she has been put through hell for standing for the truth, for standing up for all of us. Uh, Tina, please come on stage. Ladies and gentlemen, give her a round of applause. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah, you need a... Oh, hang on. I need to give him the finger. He sounded naughty. Um, that's for my, my uh, slides. So if I look like I've been to Hawaii, I have, but... Uh, you know, I didn't even put my toe in the ocean, go figure, because you know what? We have a nation to save, right? I thought I was going on vacation, but what's more important than saving our country? I ended up going to Lahaina. I'm going to show you some slides. If we can get them up, I'll show you those in just a moment. But first of all, I want to thank, last time I was here, how many were here last time at the Constitutional Sheriff and Peace Officer Association? All right, for those that don't know, and thank you for coming back, for those that don't know, I got a notification after I spoke last time to report back to Colorado because there was a warrant out for my arrest. I guess they didn't like too much what I said. And what I said was that uh, they had put my uh, election manager in jail on her birthday the day before. Uh, I spoke out against uh, Lauren Boebert, who won't, you can't hogtie that woman down to get her to say anything about elections. I'm in her district where I was. She would never help me. And I also had filed a lawsuit against Jenna Griswold, the Secretary of State. So I guess I became even more of an enemy. But, um, you know, I appreciate the sweet patriot that, um, that asked of his wife about the flag making his butt look big. A friend of mine had a truck with a picture of Obama and a donkey on it. There's my good friends coming in. <laughs> and, um, and it says, honey, does this ass make my truck look big? <laughs> so, you know, we know that uh, we have enemies in the midst, but I wanted to thank people um, and I know I'll forget, I'll forget to mention a lot of people, but there's so many behind the scene that man right there, Mark Cook, has been with me from the very beginning. Those of you that know him, go ahead and clap for him. Um, and even if you don't know him, there's so many un unsung heroes. I just spent a couple weeks with, uh, with a couple, and um, I'm so grateful for the Patriots. How many of you know that they've taken my family in an effort to, keep, to get me to be quiet? How many of you have seen Selection Code, the movie? Okay, if you haven't seen it, go to my website. It's really simple. It's easy to remember. Just my name, tinapeters.us. So tinapeters.us. That's my website. You can watch Selection Code for free. There's also a magazine on there that has a 100-page article. I was on the front cover, um, along with Patrick Byrne and, and General Flynn in different months. But I was in the November issue, and there's 100 pages telling my story. Uh, and you can download that for free. If you want a hard copy, it's a really pretty book. But, you know, I just want to thank Conservative Daily, uh, Joe Oltman. I want to thank um, all the people, the, the crew that's here, that's been the wind behind my back, the patriots that are really, you guys are my family, and I love you. I, I never think about what I'm going to say when I get up to speak because God usually gives me what I need. Um, you know, we've got General Flynn, Sam Bushman, uh, Sheriff Mack, uh, Mike Lindell, I mean, all these people are such, um, uh, Patrick Byrne, who will be up, I believe, to speak in a little bit, and uh, Seth Keschel, you know, there's so many unsung heroes, um, remember them, um, but we're ready for other people to fill in the ranks, right, and come forward, because, you know, it's getting a little tired after three years, <laughs> but we won't give up, we won't give in, and we won't back down, because we're making great progress like Sheriff Darleaf, uh, you know, mentioned, we are making progress. We're like a, we're like a uh, uh, battering ram. So my son was a breacher. He was a, in, in the SEAL teams, and I lost him in 2017 while I was running for office. And it was a very difficult time. Um, he was involved in exposing human trafficking. Um, we don't think it was a mistake that a person with 900, over 900 jumps who taught the other guys how to wingsuit and base jump and did all those things. 
you know, it's a dangerous world we live in, but it was dangerous back then in 1776 too, right? So we need to step up. You know, um, I want you guys to say this because we have to get this into our minds because they're going to come up with the next pandemic, the next something or another. I had um, uh, she, uh, she Van Fleet on my show. She, it'll be airing tomorrow. I have a show on Frank Speech and Conservative Daily every day, Monday through Friday at 9 a.m. Eastern, and she'll be on. She grew up in Mao's um, China, and she has been trying to warn people that it's not just the CCP, it's the ideology that is coming into America, and it's been doing it for, for a long, long time. We're just kind of catching up to it. So watch that show if you get a chance. Um, you know, I believe this is the year of the whistleblower. I believe there's people out there still yet that know something. But she goes into her testimony, and she starts talking about how they, um, that they will turn people against other people. Does that sound like COVID? Did you ever not wear a mask in a grocery store and somebody told you to put it on or, you know, wherever? So they're trying to condition us, but they're also trying to divide us. They're trying to get people to, uh, there's laws being passed right now that they're trying to get other people to, what I call rat, to tell on other people, to report them to the authorities. And we saw that with January 6th as well, even family members and neighbors were turning people in and saying that they, uh, they had seen that they were in January 6th. It's, it, that's, the, that's the plan. But I don't know if we can get these up. Um, where did Mark go? Uh, on the, am I doing this? Oh, I am? Okay. All right, let's see. All right, so um, some great Patriot friends and I were in uh, Lahaina. And I want to see if I can play this, if it worked. It wasn't working so well before, but let me look. Okay. Can you guys hear that? Is it playing? Okay. So what you're looking at here is was melted metal <laughs> um, in Lahaina. Uh, how many of you remember the fires? We cannot forget the fires. So when you're talking about, uh, let's see if we can play these. Hang on one second. So these ladies were, these ladies lost their business in Lahaina. All right. This is melted metal that just turned to liquid and then hardened up again. Look at that. This is the outside of one of the buildings. So from what I understand by a good friend and, and an expert in this, in weapons, there's it's a microwave weapon that's in a tube of a laser. So the laser, so if you look at this picture, they, this is the inside of the building. Look at the outside of the building. The inside of the building. It just demolished the building. And look, it just happens to be blue. People ask, they say, well, you know, is, the, uh, is it true that the Tommy Bahama umbrellas, the blue umbrellas out front, that nothing happened to them? That's true. Things, and, and there's reports that Oprah Winfrey painted her roof blue a few days before this event. Um, I don't know if these are going to play, but I want to show you. Oops. Excuse me. <laughs> Hang on. I wanted to show you the, this right here. So this is to all the people that died uh, that day. And many of them, as you can see, their, their bodies were not even able to be recovered, they're still missing. But all the way down this fence, there are tributes to the people, uh, Lahaina Strong. But, um, and I apologize that we couldn't get the, the uh, videos to play, but I'm going to have a, a show on, uh, it's called The Truth Matters by Tina Peters, on my show on uh, Frank Speech. 
and we're going to interview these people so you can hear from them. But we must not forget, and you know what was a big surprise to me is that, you know, I'm a, I'm a big Second Amendment person. I'm every amendment. I'm the Constitution. I mean, we have to, we have to preserve our Constitution. But with a weapon like this, you know, what, what kind of defense do we have? So I beat the drum for elections, and the next person that's coming up is going to talk about that too, and I really appreciate Mark Fincham. I appreciate uh, Sheriff Darleaf, all of you that are looking at the foundation of what's going on in our country, which is elections, you know, or I called them, I started calling them years ago, selections, and then the movie, you know, Selection Code. But if we don't get that right, right now, I just had somebody else on my show who was a whistleblower exposing the, uh, the um, NGOs, the non-government <laughs> entities like the Catholic Charities and all these places where they're using their, the federal government's funneling millions and millions of dollars into them. And uh, yesterday, I believe it might be on my show today, uh, this morning, but the... Um, uh, Carlos Aureliano spoke out, and he's, they've tried to shoot him in the back. This is a guy who worked for one of the NGOs down on the border, and he realized that what he was doing was trafficking children. They would give him the children. He'd take them to the airport. Somebody would show up, and a lot of times it wasn't the person that they said for him to meet. Instead of a woman, it would be a man, and he'd have to hand over these children. And he said, you know, um, this isn't right. He says, you're... And what his boss told him is, you're getting too close to these kids. You know, we might have to get rid of you. Getting too close to these kids. So now he's in New York, and he's gone in, because he is Hispanic, he's gone in and he's, he is uh, to these places where they're paying people 10 bucks to register and to become able to vote. So that's the next plan, in addition to all the other criminality that they've done that you can read the reports on my website, um, the tinapeters.us forward slash reports, Mesa County Report 1, 2, and 3, that shows the criminality of what they're doing. So we know they're, they're doing it. My son, I, I was telling you that we we're like a battering ram. My son, when he first went into the Navy SEALs, was a breacher. That's the first person to, to go into the into the fight, right, to breach the door, to, to blow it up so the rest of the team can come in. Um, you know, appreciate the people that have gone before you that have breached this, but now it's time for you guys to stand up and go through that door. And, you know, I, I have to be careful when I talk about all the bad things they've done to me because they've done horrendous things to me. You know, they've thrown me in jail, they've sued me, they've, you know, FBI raided my home, took my husband from me, had him sign a divorce decree in a nursing home, and, uh, and then they killed him. Uh, he just died uh, December 31st of 2023, just a few months ago, because of their neglect. Sued me, tried to take my house, and on and on and on. Here's the thing. God's raised you up for this time. He knows what he's doing. This is no accident. Integrity is what you do, and character is what you do when no one's looking. You compromise once, you'll compromise again. Don't compromise. I want you to say this with me. We will not comply. Let's try it again. We will not comply. We will not comply. That's what they're most afraid of. They're most afraid that you will learn what your power is. Their PSYOP, their operation, is to make you feel less than. Oh, I don't think I could do what Tina did. I don't think I could do what, you know, Mark and, 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 and uh, Sheriff Mack and all these other people did. I don't think I could do that. Well, maybe he doesn't ha isn't calling you to do that. Maybe he's calling you to do something else, but he's calling you to do something because there's more of us than there are of them, and they know that. They know that. They're afraid that you're going to realize that and stand up. So I just have a few minutes left, but I just wanted to, uh, to
to tell you how much I really appreciate all of you. Um, you know, you can, like I said, go on my website, see the filings. We've sued uh, Merrick Garland, Jenna Griswold, uh, the DA in our county. Yeah. You know, they had me so on my heels, and that's what they do. That's what they're doing President Trump right now. Bam, 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 bam. So you can't, you, you can't, you don't have time to react before they hit you with another one and hit you with another one. But we're mad as hell, and we're not going to take it anymore. Right? We're mad. You've got to get mad. You can't keep being these, these go-along, get-along Republicans or conservatives that go, well, maybe the next election, there's not going to be a next election after this one if we don't get our president in, Donald Trump. So get involved. I see some other people that I know, Jim Marchant, and, you know, there's so many people. You guys are all my friends. I love you so very much. Um, I want to make a little bit more time because I know we're running behind. I'm going to give up some of my time uh, for, uh, for Mark Cook to be able to speak a little later and others, but... Um, I, appreciate, I appreciate what you're doing in Utah, uh, Phil Lyman, yep. <laughs> I appreciate what you guys are doing in Arizona, which he's going to talk about uh, with the, uh, the Supreme Court. We've got to pray for our Supreme Court. Has anybody heard about, um, about Roberts or who was missing? One of the Supreme Court justices. Yeah, have we heard anything about him? There was one of our Supreme Court justices missing. But pray for our Supreme Court and pray for these people that are compromised, for the scales to fall from their eyes, to see the truth and be set free. Remember that prayer, that the scales will fall from their eyes so they can see the truth and be set free. I love you so much. Thank you for your support. Thank you. Thank you.